Okay. Hi, Team Z Forum. Right. So we've got uh, a junky servo motor off eBay. Crappy little eBay motor driver thing. Is this thing ever going to focus itself? Uh, and a Teensy. Hi, Teensy. Thank you for making all my Arduinos now feel redundant. God damn it. Uh, okay, so the Teensy is doing uh, PID at 2 kilohertz and it's generating a fresh set point uh, on every cycle because that's the only way I seem to be able to get a smooth motion. Uh, and it's being fed from the Mac, which uh, basically responds to requests from the Teensy. So the Teensy is managing its own buffer and just sort of asking for more data when, it, when necessary. So it means I can uh, initiate uh, a move, prepare a move, and the Teensy's asked for enough data to start with, and then I hit the button, it resets to starting camera position, does the move, nice little kind of sine wave start and stop with a constant velocity in the middle, and then at the end it waits and resets for the next take. But that's all happening off well, that little Teensy is doing an awful lot of work there. It's doing all the PID and it's generating the set points, interpolating them uh, from uh, from 25 hertz, uh, which the Mac is providing, up to 2,000 hertz. Anyway, so next step. Aha. Mm, naughty lens hack. Well, the lens, uh, the lens isn't going to be too hard because uh, it's fairly slow moving. But I've got that working with an Arduino, and I'm going to get it to use the same protocol, so the same uh, the same server software I've done over here will work with it. The tricky thing, though, is going to be moving on to kind of proper uh, proper steppers. Don't really know how to approach ordinary stepper motors because they need such high frequency, and I don't know how to generate those pulses at high frequency while still being able to do kind of simple serial communications and that sort of thing. But anyway, bye.